I am Jeffrey Smith, Susquehanna River Biologist for the Pennsylvania Fish and Folk Commission. And in this presentation, I'm going to give an overview of Lacustrian, or lake and pond, black bass fisheries in Pennsylvania. Black bass are sunfish in the genus Micropterus. They're the most popular game fish nationally. Based on data from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, more Pennsylvania anglers fish for bass than any other species. And black bass are second only to trout in the amount of time spent targeting them. So depending on which metric you prefer, Pennsylvania could easily be considered a bass state rather than a trout state. In Pennsylvania, we have two primary types of bass fisheries, lacustrian, which consists of lakes and ponds, and riverine, which are comprised of rivers and streams. For this presentation, we will focus on lacustrian bass fisheries. Lacustrian bass fisheries are popular in Pennsylvania. In a 2016 survey of bass anglers, respondents indicated that they spend approximately 63% of their time fishing lakes and ponds in Pennsylvania. For management purposes, we categorize our lacustrian bass fisheries into three resource types based on size. The most numerous of these are small reservoirs, which are less than 50 acres in size. The next most abundant are the medium reservoirs, which are between 50 and 500 acres in size. And the least abundant are the large reservoirs, which are larger than 500 acres. These also include unique features like Lake Erie and Presque Isle Bay. When we're discussing lacustrian black bass fisheries, we are focusing on two species, largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. Largemouth bass are the most popular and widely introduced sport fish in North America. Native to the Ohio and Great Lakes drainages in Pennsylvania, it has been introduced far and wide. As far as lacustrian species go, it is our most abundant black bass species in lakes, but does occur to varying degrees in our river systems. The Pennsylvania record largemouth bass weighed 11 pounds, 3 ounces, and was caught by Donald Shade at Birch Run Reservoir, Adams County, in 1983. There is currently a tie for the world record largemouth bass between two 22-pound, 4-ounce fish, one caught by George Perry in Georgia, the other by Manabu Kurita in Japan. Smallmouth bass are native to the Ohio and Great Lakes drainages in Pennsylvania and were introduced into the Delaware River and Susquehanna River in 1869 or 1870, where they have since flourished. Smallmouth bass are our most common riverine species, but are found in many of the lakes in Pennsylvania as well. Despite being a riverine species, the state record smallmouth bass weighed eight pounds, eight ounces, and was caught by Robert Steelman at Scotts Run Lake, Berks County in 1997. The world record smallmouth bass weighed 11 pounds, 15 ounces, it was caught by David Hayes at Dale Hollow Reservoir in Tennessee in 1955. When monitoring lacustrian black bass populations, we utilize different techniques to look at different life stages of bass. Primarily, we focus on adult bass. And these are the data you typically see in biology reports and other products. We conduct these surveys in late spring and early summer using shoreline butt electric fishing at night, taking advantage of foraging behaviors of bass as they come into the shallows at night to feed making them accessible for capture. When doing these surveys, we are collecting data on abundance, length frequency distribution, and age. Age data is then used to understand growth rates and mortality rates to gauge management practices. On a small subset of lakes, young of your surveys are conducted in mid to late summer targeting fish spawned in the spring of the year. These surveys are conducted using shoreline butt electrofishing during the day to assess density and are used to determine future year class strength as well as to track disease. From a regulatory standpoint, the vast majority of lacustrian bass populations are managed through Commonwealth Inland Waters regulations. These consist of a January 1st to mid-April and a November 1st to December 31st trophy season with a 15 inch minimum length limit and a daily curl limit of four bass, a mid-April to mid-June catch and immediate release season where tournaments are prohibited and a mid-June to October 31st general season with a minimum length limit of 12 inches and a daily krill limit of six bass. However, there are some exceptions. One of these exceptions is the 53 lakes and some of their associated water bodies included in the Big Bass Program. Regulations were implemented in these water bodies to improve size structure of bass towards a more trophy fishery. These regulations consist of a January 1st to mid-April and mid-June to December 31st harvest season with a minimum length limit of 15 inches and a daily curl limit of four bass, and a mid-April to mid-June catch and immediate release season where tournaments are prohibited. Please consult with your summary book to see where these lakes exist near you. 
Additionally, there are currently 15 water bodies in the Catch and Release Lakes program. These are a combination of water supply and other publicly owned lakes, including recently reclaimed Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission lakes without a stock trout fishery. Each of these reclaimed lakes starts out on a five-year catch and release plan before being reevaluated to determine future regulatory action. Also, there are eight water bodies that fall under miscellaneous special regulations. Most of these are recently reclaimed lakes that have catch and release fisheries like those mentioned previously. However, they also have seasonal stock trout fisheries. Two other waters, Hopewell Township Lake Beaver County and Beaver Creek Ponds Clarion County have miscellaneous special regulations focused on bass that are not newly restored lakes. We ask that you consult your summary book for details on these water bodies. In Pennsylvania, we are fortunate to have a few unique lacustrian bass fisheries. One of the more prominent is Lake Erie. Lake Erie is widely considered one of the best bass fisheries in the world due to the exceptionally large and abundant smallmouth bass found there. Lake Erie is currently listed third in Bassmaster Magazine's national ranking of best lakes to bass fish. For these reasons, Lake Erie is a frequent stop for large national and regional bass tournaments. Another of these unique lacustrian bass fisheries is Presque Isle Bay in Lake Erie. The Presque Isle Bay has a good year-round resident largemouth bass population, but also has a seasonal smallmouth bass fishery as some fish enter the bay from the main lake to spawn. Presque Isle Bay is a big draw in the spring for anglers and favored by some anglers as bay conditions are often easier than the main lake as it can be less affected by wind and waves. Raystown Lake in Huntington County is another unique lacustrian bass fishery in Pennsylvania. The largest inland lake in Pennsylvania, many people think of the lake for striped bass, but it's also an outstanding lake for large black bass as well. Despite having a mixed smallmouth bass, largemouth bass fishery, you generally find smallmouth bass in the rocky habitats of the main lake and largemouth bass than numerous side channels and bays. Spring fishing can be exceptional for large largemouth bass in these side channels and bays. The picture on the right is me holding two large bass collected at Raystown Lake during a spring 2019 survey. We currently recognize six large reservoirs as best fishing waters in Pennsylvania. These are based on our electric fishing survey catch rates of bass 15 inches in length and longer. They include Lake Wilhelm in Mercer County, Marsh Creek Lake in Chester County, Lake Nockamixon in Bucks County, and Yellow Creek Lake, Indiana County for largemouth bass, Raystown Lake in Huntington County for both largemouth bass and smallmouth bass, and Lake Wallenpaw Pack in Pike County for smallmouth bass. We currently recognize five medium reservoirs as best fishing waters in Pennsylvania based on our electric fishing survey catch rate of largemouth bass 15 inches and longer in length. They include Cross Creek Lake in Washington County, Green Lake Reservoir in Fayette County, Lackawanna Lake in Lackawanna County, Pincho Lake in York County, and Shawnee Lake in Bedford County. And last but not least, we currently recognize two small reservoirs as best fishing waters in Pennsylvania. Again, this is based on our electrofishing survey catch rates of largemouth bass 15 inches and longer in length. These are Hamilton Lake in Tioga County and Mammoth Lake in Westmoreland County. Pictured here in the right is a fisheries biologist age from Area 8 in southwestern Pennsylvania with a 10-pound largemouth bass caught during a survey in Mammoth Lake. There are several lakes around Pennsylvania that didn't make the cut as best fishing waters, but are still great lakes to target for bass based on the recommendation of our area fisheries managers and biologists. Many of these have high abundance of bass, although the catch rate of large bass didn't meet the criteria for the best fishing waters. In the northwest part of the state, these include Lake Arthur, Shenango River Lake, Pima Tuning Reservoir, and Glade Run Lake. In the northeast, Mock Chunk Lake and F.E. Walter Reservoir. In the southwest, Upper and Lower Twin Lakes, Wilmore Dam, Keystone Lake, and Pine Township Pond. In the South Central, Long Arm Dam, Lake Perez, Opossum Lake, and Little Buffalo Lake. And in the Southeast, Blue Marsh Reservoir and Chambers Lake. Of note, Pine Township Pond in the Southwest has great shore access for anglers as well as some large bass. Also of note, Glade Run Lake, Lake Perez, and Opossum Lake are recently claimed Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission lakes that have high bass abundance following their refilling. 
As a biologist, one of my key recommendations to improve your fishing when targeting lacustrian bass is to factor in seasonal movement patterns. Fish move widely around lakes. The warm shallows that are good in April won't be good in July or in November when they're typically in deep wintering areas. Find these specific places in each of your water bodies you like to fish and your fishing will greatly improve. Also recognize that in lakes where largemouth bass and smallmouth bass coexist, they generally prefer different habitats and catering presentations and base to those specific habitats may be more effective than a one size fits all approach. Another biologist tip is to take advantage of online mapping features to help you scout from home. Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission is currently releasing maps on our website with all the habitat structures in our reclaimed lakes. A few of them, like a possum lake pictured here in the upper right, were mentioned during the course of this presentation. Also, Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources is posting high quality bathymetry maps of their state park lakes to also include a few other features that may be of interest to anglers like launches and habitat structures. Using these maps in conjunction with GPS systems can help you to make the most of the time on the water. Please submit your questions regarding lacustrian bass fisheries in written form to the panel as instructed. Thank you for your attention and your interest.